Yeah, would you rather have a woman who, pr who prioritizes their career over you? Or would you rather have one who prioritizes their relationship over their career? Uh, the kitchen, that's her priority. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Mookie, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I have some questions for you already. I'm ready. Fantastic. Question number one. Would you rather have a man who communicates openly about his feelings or one who shows their love through actions rather than words? Ooh, um, hmm. I would rather have the man who communicates openly about his feelings. And why is that? Well, because I feel like you can act without necessarily aligning with those actions, like within yourself. Um, whereas, like, if you're communicating, it's you're being honest and vulnerable. Then I think that you know that's necessary in a relationship. Thank you. Who am I with? Alonze. Fantastic. We have two questions for you today on our Would You Rather. Question number one: uh, Would you rather have a man who? provides for you but can't really protect you or a man who can protect you but struggles to provide for you providing over protection hmm. yeah and why is that a man must be a provider yeah that's just how i feel very fantastic i'm here with gabby fantastic stuff would you rather have a man who's highly ambitious or one who's more laid back and focused on you I'd say a man that's more ambitious. And why is that? Because I feel like a man that's more ambitious has more goals, meaning they work harder than someone that's more laid back and focused on me. Aren't you afraid that his work life will get into the way of your relationship? I mean, if he's busy, then I'm probably busy and he should be able to make time in order for us to be together. Okay, so he should make time, not you. We both will, <laughs> obviously. Fantastic. Pakilao, we have some questions for you today. Question number one, would you rather have a woman who's outgoing or a lady who is reserved? Uh, hmm. Reserved. And why is that? Because if someone's outgoing, I guess they're more inclined to be novelty-seeking and that means they'll probably like want a fun time, look for partners elsewhere. Yeah, I, I like a more composed, well put together woman. Are so you, reserved. Are you outgoing yourself? I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. Um, who am I here with? Jonathan. Fantastic. I have some questions for you today. Number one is, would you rather have a partner who's DTF or one who prefers to establish a strong emotional connection first? Um, that one's very simple for me. First, a strong emotional connection. I think being DTF should be a reward or a result of being emotionally available and vulnerable to someone. Not a prerequisite to being um, vulnerable. So is that your stance on one night stands? <laughs> um, yeah, I think, you know, those, those can be very risky. Um, you know, you're just like sowing wild oats. You don't know where it could go. And with whose heart are you playing, you know? Come on. Okay, so I see a farmer that doesn't like to plant many seeds. <laughs> I'm here with... Andy's. Fantastic. Um, I have some questions for you today. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, first question of the day is, would you rather have a man who communicates openly about his feelings or um, have a man who shows his love through actions rather than words? A man who communicates openly. Through actions or feelings? Feelings, please. Feelings? Yeah. All right, why is that? Because I can't be the only one who's so expressive. Meanwhile, you're just nonchalant and you just don't care and you're holding all of the feelings and emotions inside. I get confused as a person. Okay. What if he's nonchalant and all of those stuff, but he buys you flowers and sweets and teddy bears? No, that's not enough. So what if he's openly expressive, but doesn't buy you teddy bears, flowers? As long as reassurance is there and he keeps on like pressing his feelings, I'm fine. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Um, would you rather have a partner who is DTF or one who prefers to establish a strong connection first? What would you like? Isn't it the same thing? We're going to connect in bed. What's the difference? If 
time. You want to take out on the dinner first? No date. Straight to my bedroom. No date. Straight to my bedroom. So DTF it is. Straight to my bedroom. Get your views on, on uh, one night stand. Straight to my bedroom. Okay, fantastic. What's your name? Kwasi. Fantastic. Question number one. Would you rather have a man who's highly ambitious or one who's more laid back and focused on you? I feel like highly ambitious, yeah. Don't you think that, that that might result to him, you know, focusing more on his job than you? I feel like I'm also like that. I'm more focused on school more than other things. So I feel like it's going to be a match, yeah. Would you rather have a man who is always honest, even if it hurts, or one who tells you white lies to spare your feelings? Uh, okay, well, be be honest. Be honest even if it hurts. Because then I know I can trust you. Yeah. Even if it's cheating? I always said, yeah, then I know at least to bounce. Right. Yeah. Uh, second question, would you rather have a man who um, cheats on you but can still provide or a man who is loyal but struggles to provide? A man who's loyal and struggles to provide. Loyalty over royalty. Okay, so you'd rather be broke with a man than rich with a man who cheats on you? I'd rather be broke with a man. Yes. Um, would you rather have a partner who is more financially stable or one who is more emotionally supportive? One who's more emotionally supportive. <laughs> Why? Don't be broke, but just be there emotionally. Okay, so you should be, she should be able to provide and emotionally support you? Yes. What if he can't provide but he can emotionally support you? Why can't he do both? He doesn't have a job. Yo. But he has a big heart. Heart. <laughs> nice guys finish last. Okay, okay, nice guys finish. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, would you rather date a girl, right, with a private account or one with a public account? Um, I think being public. <laughs> I, I think being public or private um isn't a metric to to like. You know, decide whether you want to be with someone. You know, they, they they could have a private account because they're being followed by spam bots and not have anything to hide on that account. Zero pictures. Someone could be publicly whoring. Um, <laughs> Sorry. You know, Sorry. and and someone could have a public account and just have like, you know, a multitude of pictures, which kind of show that you're not the only one in the relationship with them. Mm. So I think that's the question. What is the nature of the content that the person is putting public or keeping private? And what are the motivations? I would rather have a partner who shares all their past experiences, aka body count with you. And, um, or would you rather have one who keeps certain aspects of their past private? Keep that shit secret. Really? I want to know about the niggas you've been, that have been inside you. I'm good. Okay, okay. Would you, ex would you share your past experiences? No, unless she asked me, but like, I'm not going to like tell you, you know the amount of bitches I'd be fucking before I met you. <laughs> Nah. Uh, uh, say this. I want my person to be like independent regardless of me being there or not. So like I don't wanna say necessarily the career should be a priority, but then they shouldn't they shouldn't necessarily prioritize me because you know um, I would probably be more inclined to fully fully for someone that's driven, attractive and that like you know, I, I think um, ambition is attractive. So someone that prioritizes their career, just not to my detriment. You know, there's always a good balance. I know a lot of these que questions are either or, but there's a right in a mountain. I would probably lead towards someone that like knows the self worth and is has a bigger picture in mind. You know. All right, that is fantastic. So basically, you don't mind if another nigga bosses your girl around. Sure. You to bend over. I mean, I mean, I mean, technically, everyone will boss your girl around if you're putting it in that perspective. If your girl is in in uni, someone's bossing her around, telling her to hand in those papers at a specific time, looking at her in a certain way. You know, everyone's a boss in some capacity. Even your shorty's daddy is her boss. <laughs> so if you wanna speak like that, yeah, every, every, everybody shorty is, everybody shorty. Um, would you rather have a man who cheats on you but can still provide, or a man who is loyal but struggles to provide? A man that's loyal and struggles to provide. And why is that? 
because if he can provide then I will. Yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Are you good? Um, would you rather have a man that is open and honest with you, right? Even if it even when it hurts, or someone that you know tells you white lies to spare your feelings? Open and honest even when it hurts. Why is that? Hurt me with the truth, then comfort me with a lie. Okay, this is off camera. Don't you have a nice smile? Like, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Anyway. Yeah, anyway, look at that smile, bro. Just like do you see do you see what I'm seeing? Anyway. Cool, we're good.